Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be showing you how to write a program to send an email using Java. So really quickly before the video starts, over 99% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you're a part of that 99%, please consider subscribing. It's completely free. And when you do subscribe, make sure you click on the bell next to the subscribe button. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is um, open up uh, Chrome or whatever browser you use. And you want to create a um, email account. I'm going to be using Gmail, so I'm going to go to gmail.com and then create an account. And here you're going to enter in your name, username, password, and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So once you enter in that, that information, you're going to get another screen where you need more information. So um, I'm going to enter in all this information. And once you've entered that information, it's going to ask you to accept the terms. And here you go. Once you uh, finish those steps, you should have your Gmail account that has been created and you should have access to Gmail. So one very important thing you need to do is um, change a uh, setting in your Google account. So you're going to click in your Google account, go to manage your Google account. And you're going to click on security and scroll down until you see this um, setting right here. And here you're going to turn on access. And click this so it's blue. It says yes and on. And this will basically allow um, the Java program to actually access the email. Otherwise, Google will kind of lock the email from being accessed by the program. Okay, so now that you've created your Gmail account and set it up so that um, it allows less secure apps to access it, you want to actually write your code in Eclipse. So the first thing you want to do is uh, create a new project. And I'm going to call it um, Send Email Test. Make sure uh, you're using JDK 12.0.1 because I used Java SE and it wasn't working for some reason. So click finish and um, I'm not going to do a module info. And now you have your, um, your new project. You want to right click on the project, click on properties and go to Java build path. Click on class path right here and click on add external jars. And once you click on that, you should get this pop up right here to um, access your uh, files. And you want to import all of these jars right here. And I'll include these jars um, so that you can download them in the description. But um, just um, put all these and click on open. And put all these jars inside, click on apply and close. And now you can actually start coding. So if you go to the source folder, right click, click on new, um, new class. Um, I'm going to call it uh, send email. And we're going to create another class called tester and click on finish. So now you have two classes and um, let's actually start coding the classes. So the first thing you want to do is import these three things and then you're going to actually write your class. You want to create a few different things. So, um, and by the way, I, I didn't write all of this code. Most of this came from a, an article and a YouTube video that I watched. And so the first thing you want to do is create a final string sender email. And that'll be a Gmail account. So I'm just going to say at gmail.com. And you would fill in um, what the first part of it is. And so that's the first part. I'll just put a comment here, change email address. And then you want to do a final string uh, sender password. And that's the password that corresponds to the Gmail address that you specified up there. So I'll just put that for now, uh, change password. Um, and now you want to do a final string email smtp server equals smtp.gmail.com. That's because you're using Gmail to send the email. And then final string email server port equals 465. That's, the, that's what uh, corresponds to Gmail. And then you want to do a string receiver email equals null. And then do a static string email subject. And we'll define that later when we um, have the constructor. And then static string email body. And then public send email string receiver email, which is uh, what we're going to um, get from the constructor, uh, string subject, 
and string body. And here is your receiver email. So we want to um, set this uh, receiver email here to the receiver email that we defined earlier. And I actually just noticed that I spelled this wrong. So uh, there we go. And then, so here I can say this dot receiver email equals receiver email. And then um, now we want to do the subject. Um, so this dot email subject equals subject. Um, and then um, body, this dot email body equals body. Uh, so there we go. And now we have to do a few different things uh, with uh, properties. So these are all the things that you need to do with the properties class. And just by reading it, I can see that it's um, setting up, uh, obviously, a properties class. It's um, assigning each um, part of this mail.smtp um, to what we've already defined. So once we've done this, we want to do um, security manager um, security equals system dot get security manager. And once we've done that, we need to do try open bracket and then enter to create the second one. Uh, and then we need to do authenticator auth, or you can name it whatever, um, but I'm just going to say auth equals new smtp uh, authenticator open bracket close bracket and semicolon and sorry open parentheses close parentheses and um, this um, you know it's going to say it's not defined but we're going to create that class later so don't worry about that for now and then um, session session equals session dot get instance props comma auth And then mime message msg equals new mime message open parentheses session and then close semicolon. And now we need to do msg dot set text email body. So we're send, setting the the oh it should be text sorry. Um, so we're setting the this is msg's message. We're setting the text of the message to the email body which we got up here from the constructor. Um, and then we set that to the instance variable, so we're now using that. I just did this uh, to debug when I was uh, using this, but uh, this is optional. You can do system dot out dot print line uh, email body. Um, so this is just printing out the email body, so you can make sure that you're using the right email body. Um, this is just if you're trying to debug. Um, you don't actually have to use it, but I thought I would include it just in case. Um, and then msg dot set subject um, email subject and then msg dot uh, set from and then new internet address open parentheses sender email so it's uh, setting setting the the from of the message to be uh, the sender email and creating a new internet address object using that sender email and then msg dot add recipient uh, open parentheses message dot recipient type dot two comma new uh, internet address receiver email and I didn't spell that right there we go so this is creating a setting the recipient to the receiver email and it's um, creating a new internet address uh, just like we did here and now we want to do transport dot send msg so it's sending the message and then system dot out dot print line um, message sent successfully technically optional but it's kind of good to have just so you know if the program executed through all of this and sent the email and since we're doing this in a try uh, we have to do a catch uh, exception. I'm just going to say exception e, and then you want to do e dot print stack trace, so you know what went wrong and why this didn't work. So now we have to actually create this class right here. 
So we want to close the uh, constructor by putting a closing bracket and then um, um, do uh, public class SMTP authenticator extends Java X dot mail dot authenticator open bracket um, public password authentication uh, get password authenticator so creating a method and uh, return new password authentication using send sender email and sender password so here we go we have the SMTP authenticator class so this is no longer an error and now we can I'm just gonna fix this bracket right here so it matches um, its opening bracket in the same indentation there we go and now we are done with the send email class so if you can see it says there's an error but if I do control s to save it there is no more errors uh, sorry by the way I just realized that this should not be get password authenticator this should be get password authentication um, and now we want to move on to the tester class you want to do a uh, public static void main string args and open bracket and enter and then you want to call the the class that you created over here so send email send equals new send email and here you want to put the parameters for the email so the receiving email and the subject and the body and I'll put a comment here change uh, receiver email so that's basically all you need to do um, you fill in this email address right here and if you fill in this email address right here and this password um, it will send an email for you when you run the tester class so I'm not going to run it because it's just going to give me an error since I haven't put an actual uh, email address but that's pretty much all you need to do if you want to get this code I will leave it in the description so that you can access it and yeah I hope you found this video helpful if you did please consider subscribing to the channel anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video